Good evening everybody, with the next UK budget coming around the corner, what seems to be pretty soon, let's have a talk about taxes and things of that matter. In the past couple of days, I've been making a lot of videos on these sorts of topics. The videos are doing quite well, and also it's quite an interesting topic. We're seeing right now a world, or at least a UK, where taxes are basically on everything, right? Taxes in the UK are on everything. And I hear an argument towards people who don't work saying, oh, well, you're not a taxpayer. That's a blatant lie. That is how tax the UK is. Let me explain. The homeless man on the street is still a taxpayer. And you might think, well, that makes no sense. How can you be no, how can you be a taxpayer if you've got no money, if you've got no income? The value added tax is a tax. If you go to a shop and there's a 20% VAT rate or a 25% VAT, you are still a taxpayer. Students are taxpayers, homeless people are taxpayers. If you buy anything, if it's a homeless guy who's you know lucky enough to buy a burger at lunch because someone's donated some money to him, he's still paying tax on that. Students who don't have a job, still paying tax when they go to the shops. Taxes on everything. Your parents work hard all their life, they, they eventually buy a house or whatever. They have assets. My, my family don't have assets like that, but some people's will. Inheritance tax. Your mum and your dad have paid tax all their life on that money. Inheritance tax comes in. And it's like double taxation. It's like all of this money is being given to the government. Then you've got other taxes that we all face on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like, um, now it's called vehicle excise duty, but road tax, basically. Road tax. My car for this year was £450 to tax. Now, for a lot of people, that is so expensive. It's a disincentive for driving the car, even though I'm keeping a 30-year-old car on the road. Then you've got fuel duties. Fuel duties are potentially going to go up in the next budget as well, right? And you look at this situation with all the taxes, and you start to think, right, so I'm, a, I'm an honest person. In regards to myself, I might not be the most hardworking, I'll admit that, but I don't need to work hard. I make money online. I just made a video talking about how I made $8,000, which was about £6,300 in a month online. I don't need to work hard. I work smart. But, you know, I work honestly for my money. I try and make it honestly. And you look at the situation and how much of it gets taken off you. That's fine. Until you actually look around at everything. Everything in the UK, right? Everything is... Now, I don't swear on this channel, but everything is effed, let's say. Right? Everything is effed. Streets are... Full of potholes, full of potholes, really. Even some of the motorways are full of potholes. Um, a lot of the urban streets are quite dirty. A lot of the urban streets are full of homeless people, which I'm not blaming the homeless people. It's actually a sign that they're not getting the help that they needed, the help which you'd think our tax money goes to pay for. You go to the hospitals, if you go into a state-run hospital, the ones that we pay for through our taxes, they're, they're an absolute shambles, right? No disrespect to the doctors, nurses, and the like who work there. Again, massive respect to them. Because they are the people doing God's work. Because in the UK, not only are they doing a high-stress job like they would be in the US or Australia, they're getting paid peanuts for it. Absolutely nothing, basically. And I know what people might say, 40 grand a year is not nothing. It is when you've done 8 years of medical school or more. It really is not very much at all. So here's the thing. We in the UK pay an awful lot of tax, from inheritance taxes to property taxes, aka council tax, to income tax, to fuel fuel duties, road taxes. We're taxed on everything, and every single person is from kids who buy sweets to pensioners who die and give their give their wealth to their youngers. We are all taxed, and we live in a system where we do not see the benefits for it, right? I was born in the UK, a lot of you guys were too. We are now not seeing the benefits of having highest, 
or some of the highest taxes that we've seen in a while, and some taxes potentially set to increase. I heard a lot about this concept of pay per mile driving, um, you know, for, for going forwards into the future now. Whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. I, I hope it doesn't. But it's another way that people are going to get priced out of cars. And people might say, well, you don't need cars. It's, a, it's, it's not a right, but it's a privilege. Why should the average person have to work so hard and then not be able to have any nice things? Not because they can't actually afford it, but because the taxes mean they can't afford it. If you look at things like fuel and cars, they wouldn't actually be that expensive. We're talking about buying a used car and then fueling it and then taxing it. It wouldn't actually be that expensive if there was no additional taxes to the running of the vehicle. And I know people are going to say, well, taxes keep society going. Well, yes, but look at how much money is blatantly mismanaged. You know, it's funny because we got the Labour government in the UK and everyone thinks or thought everything was going to change. Now, from where I'm standing, it feels exactly the same. All of the projects I'm seeing in most of the big cities, all of them in most of the cities, the big projects, the skyscrapers, the the clean streets, whatever, it's private land, it's private property, it's done by private enterprise, right? It's done by private enterprise. The council, aka the ones that we fund, they don't do anything anymore. Someone fly tips on the street, aka dumps rubbish. It's not getting moved for weeks. Potholes that, that I do in my car in. I pay £500 nearly a year. Things like 440 To keep that car on the road. It doesn't cause £400 worth of damage. I almost guarantee it. Yet the, the, the ton of money that I pay. My car's getting wrecked. The suspension's dying. Not because it's a bad car. Because the roads are that done in. Because they don't get fixed. The tax money appears to be just going to the top. And, you know, it's funny. Because it was like... I was was about to get into that point. You know, these videos, I kind of just talk my opinions. Rather than just actually having a structure or a script. It's funny because everyone thought that the Labour government was going to change everything. That was, was what I was on the point of. And they didn't, obviously. Obviously not. But... It is the last Conservative government who made it very blatant, especially in the COVID period, how much um, how much they just blatantly take, to be honest. Look at what we saw. We saw money. Let's not forget this, right? Because people like to forget this, but this should not be forgotten because it proves, proves, substantiates with factual knowledge how our funds are run look at what happened parties in government how much did that test and trace app cost i can't remember the exact figure forgive me if i'm wrong but i think it was something like 25 billion or something like that 25 billion billion where did it go where has that money gone right and here's the funny thing Imagine what infrastructure projects that could have funded. Imagine what that could have done, 25 billion. 25 billion would probably be enough to house every homeless person in England. In fact, no, in the entire UK. Probably. I can't guarantee it, but probably it would have been. And I'm not saying give them all a, a mansion. You could have probably put them in some sort of a shared housing unit. It's better than living on the streets. But then we look at this and we're like, okay, so... Our, our fellow people are not getting looked after. We're not getting looked after. It's like any of our loved ones, grandparents, parents, fall ill, God forbid, because they're not going to get seen to, probably, in enough time. And and also, the future's not just for our loved ones that we don't want to get ill as they start to age and obviously naturally decline. The future's for ourselves and our children. If I was running a country... The budget, taxes probably would be high in my country, right? In my made-up country. Or even if I was running the UK, let's say. I would probably have a high tax economy, maybe. But you use the money properly, right? 
If you live in places like I do, in the north of England, remember that HS2 line that apparently only is going to go to Birmingham? Not even coming to Manchester, right? So the, the, the real second biggest financial city in the UK, um, or, or in England at least, is not coming to Manchester. It's not going to Edinburgh. It's not going to Glasgow, biggest cities in Scotland. It's not even going to Manchester. So not only do we pay extremely high taxes, we're not looked after to the degrees that we should be, I believe, because we, we were looked after better, what, 10 years ago, realistically. I remember when I was a kid, a younger kid, now it might just be rose-tinted glasses, of course, but realistically, I do remember, we had things in the UK, even in my little small town, we had things like um, flowers in, in the town square, like flowers in the town square, trees that were like all cut into shapes and stuff. And it's not that that kind of things fall out of fashion. Because the same trees and that are there. But they're overgrown and they look estate. The ground needs blasting, you know, uh, wa jet washing. This is what we pay for. I don't pay taxes to live in a place that looks like a developing country, let's say. I don't pay taxes to live in a place that looks like a dystopia. And obviously, the more money you make, the more taxes you pay. So I, I feel bad enough paying my £400 on my car and my fuel duties and my 20% plus VAT and my income tax. I can't imagine how someone earning 100 plus might feel who has to pay, you know, tax bracket up to 45, 50%. What does that feel like? Because unless you live in, realistically, even London, only London, and even then, not 100%, even in places like Manchester, Birmingham, you still see potholes, you still see abandoned infrastructure projects. It's not the best of times. It's not the best of situations. And like I say, I've just been walking about the city right now, as you can probably tell I'm in a hotel. Um, and I'm walking about the city and I'm like, I I'm actually analysing this because my mind's kind of been opened. And I'm looking around and I'm having a think. And I'm like, okay, well, that's, an, that's a private project. That's a private project. The street lights are being provided by a private company based on where they shine from. We're not getting what we pay for. So to me, that's one thing. The concept of increasing taxes, which apparently is going to have to happen, is unfeasible. It's not something that I can imagine. Now, here's another thing that I think the UK has really messed up on and never tried to rectify. Everything in the UK for a long time... Seemingly, of course, I wasn't alive, but looking back economically, seemingly since the 1980s Margaret Thatcher days, the UK has basically been for sale. And naturally, and I'm not blaming pe these people for it, naturally, people from other countries, rich investors have bought. Now, ignorant and closed-minded people like to blame these foreign investors, saying they're coming here and taking our money and taking our jobs. And they are, but it's not their fault. They are taking advantage of a market opportunity, right? It's our UK government's fault for trying to sell the country off. That's my personal belief, right? If you think about it, if I was running a country and I saw another country's assets going for significantly under value, and I could say, okay, well, I'm going to take this money, I'm going to take a bit of it for myself, and I'm going to use the rest of it to enrich my people, or make my people's the quality of life better. Who wouldn't do that? Everything in the UK has been for sale. The UK has stopped investing, seemingly, as much in foreign assets, foreign markets. And, and that's worrying. So what's my point here? My point is, when we're talking about the UK... Taxes are already staggering. Everything is taxed. Again, from the homeless man's lunch that he's finally been able to pay for, to the millionaire's death. Everything is taxed. The poorest feel it, the richest feel it. And that's why a lot of rich people say that they want to leave the UK, because two things are happening here. It seems that quality of life appears to be falling, 
for some people. And even if you are the richest person in the world, unless you live in London, the roads are still a mess. Even if you even if you're rich, the roads are still got potholes in them like crazy. The weather's still bad. Can't blame the economy for that, but still. Then you look at somewhere like Dubai, where you can have zero percent tax, and I think a lot of rich people think, well, you know. Now coming back to your average person, which is a person who should worry the most, because chances are millionaires do not need really um, financial support measures based by economic. Um, Basically, government intervention. They probably don't need it. Your average person probably does. Um, you know, unless you earn a, a significant volume of money, you're probably not going to be able to get private health care. So you probably need measures like the NHS. They're probably made to put people like you in comfort. That's what it's there for. And we're not seeing it. We're living in a world... Where you're probably concerned for your parents if they fall ill because of the situation with the NHS. We're living in a world where infrastructure projects are lagging behind. So opportunities given to your children are probably not going to be as strong as they realistically should be. And then we're told that we need to pay more taxes for the privilege. Look at what taxes we already pay. The funds are being mismanaged. It's clearly not working. And I'm going to end that one there. Thank you for watching. See you soon. Goodbye, everyone.